Uh, well, speaking of dragons, well, hold on, this is a gorilla. But let's talk about Showbiz Pizza. I was trying oh, to make yeah. a connection there. Um, Showbiz Pizza is no longer around, right? It's all closed up. Uh, uh-uh, they're Chuck E. Cheese now. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese bought them. The click and whir of the fuzzy little characters. <laughs> <laughs> Now, back in the day, it was Chuck E. Cheese versus Showbiz Pizza, right? Yeah, yeah. they were, they were, right. yeah, they were rivals. And uh, I know Chuck E. Cheese has the Big Mouse, and and that's what they had in Ocala. I don't think they had a Showbiz Pizza in Ocala. I, I remember Chuck E. Cheese as a kid, but when I got a little older, um, you know, I, I found out about it. But by that time, I think they were starting. You probably went down. to the. You would have gone to the one in Gainesville, most likely. If I would, yeah, yeah. But but there was a Chuck E. Cheese in Ocala. My. Family is like, we're not going anywhere. We don't have to. So fuck Gainesville. It's 30 minutes away. <laughs> um, but you uh, somehow, and yeah, I hope you, you tell us, you, you somehow got contacted to be the voice of Fats the Gorilla. He was their their Chuck, their their big mouse, more or less. Um, <laughs> well, Chuck E. Cheese. He was the main mouse. character oh, of the, of the Rock of Fire explosion. He was the lead singer. You're and, right. Yeah. It's still funny. Well, it's supposed <laughs> to be Billy Bob, but... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, but it didn't wind up that way, did it? Really? It was supposed to be a Billy Bob gorilla? Yeah. No, no, Billy Bob the Bear. Remember the overalls that played oh, yeah. the banjo? He was supposed to be the face of it. Okay. But All everyone right. gravitated towards Fats. It was probably because of that fucking awesome voice and singing voice he had, right? Yeah, yeah you know it's true. <laughs> <laughs> now, how, how did you get tapped to do that? Well, I had a band called Clutch, and we were a show band. We were funny, and we were uh, comics, and we were uh, musicians. Mm-hmm. first i guess and uh we put on a big show all through orlando man we were very popular here and uh and this guy came out to see us he was writing for those characters they were called the wolf pack five or something like that back yeah. then mm-hmm. and uh and so he came and uh saw that we were comedians and uh and asked to, to write with him you know, yeah for no money yeah, of course. And and yeah. the, the guy who ran the whole operation, Aaron Vector, yep. he saw the the writing was kind of turning up towards the, the good. Yeah. And so he went and s- scoped it out, and he came out to see us, and uh, that was it, man. Uh, as soon as he saw our show, he asked me and Jeff. Well, Jeff later, he asked me to to do the voice of uh, some some bears for him. Yeah. Uh-huh. I did the voice of the bears. And uh, and then uh, and then it turned into uh, Showbiz Pizza. Next thing I know, so he he designs these new characters, Pats and Mitzi and and, and Billy Bob and all those that bunch. Uh, and he wanted me to do the voice of the gorilla, and I did uh, just down in my lower range. Yeah, and, <laughs> and um, that was it. Well, we started putting together shows. I had a great experience with Aaron. Yeah, Th- there's That's a little, great. little bit of a cult following with that. Do you, do you ever get hit up by by people? Oh yeah, all yeah. the time. Yeah. Did, when I mentioned that to you yesterday about how big that, or we talked about it this morning, I think when yeah. first got here, about how like crazy, how, like how rabid that fan base is. Did you know it was that big? No, no, I didn't. I I, I had no idea. But how many how many uh, tens of thousands of of, of hundreds. Uh, people uh, do, do you think we reach out there oh i mean dude people are actually buying the old retired showbiz pizza yeah shows i knew that. animatronics and installing them in their houses and oh, that and, would be cool and putting on their own shows and making and sy- syncing them up to modern songs like i saw a, a video on youtube if you look up video tube uh, go on youtube and type in rock of fire explosion you'll see videos of the rock of fire band singing along to Tonight's gonna be a good night by Black Eyed Peas, Hurt by Johnny Cash, um, uh, Roar by Katy Perry. Like they're li- literally programming these shows to do all these modern songs, and these people are literally obsessed with that one time in their life when it's Friday night, mom's taking us to, sh- to showbiz, and that was a good night. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew that. I knew, but I didn't know that he had any more shows to sell. But I knew he was selling parts and and. Uh, like a Fats mask or a Billy Bob mask. Old, I think he's pretty owner? much sold all of them off at this point. Like, he doesn't have any more, like, because he had, a, at the one time, he had a bunch of crates of, like, unused shows. Right. Like, and when I say show, that means the set, the animatronics, the whole thing, what he would package up and send to a new showbiz that was opening for them to install. Oh, I see. At one point, he, really? had a, he had a bunch of those still in crates that had never been installed anywhere. 
and people were actually making the trip all the way down here to buy those unused shows from him. Wow. wow. And it took about 10 years. This The first guy that bought one from him, he said it took 10 years for him to get Aaron to agree to sell him one. Yeah. Because he, he didn't want to part with anything. He didn't want to part with nothing. Yeah. Uh, I had one, but it was folding my clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm, I'm look. I would buy a fast gorilla and reprogram him to sing like Southern Girl or Drunk of Denny's, something yeah, like that. that. Would be awesome. <laughs> oh man, that would be so good. Uh, but now, I, I'm just looking at the uh, the internet right here, the computer, and I didn't realize they actually put LPs out, like 45s. Yeah, uh, they did. Yep, I had all of them when I was a kid. Really, all of them. There's one right here with Fats the Gorilla uh, on the front, 40 bucks on eBay. I might, I might buy that one. It's right here, Creative Records. If I yeah. buy that, will you sign it for me? Yeah, of course. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm what what songs are on it? I don't care. I mean, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come back in here. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, believe. Yeah, yeah. It says School Days Catch Away 45 Creative Records 1981. I was two years old when they, they put this out. Uh, that's the year I was born. Do you remember those songs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? What, what, where? I arranged them and wrote them. <laughs> oh, wow. What was the song that you wrote that, uh, that Aaron used to call Sal's song? I think that's uh, the birthday one that you wrote. Having a birthday party. Oh yeah, that wow, was, oh, that was it. Oh wait, there's only two songs on. Yeah, what? a 45 is one song on each side. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought that was just the speed it went around at. It is. Oh. 45 RPM. So a 12 inch record plays at 33 and a third. Okay. A seven inch 45 plays at 45 RPM. So it's much faster. So I that means you. that the space, the actual surface space, is, is shorter. That's why when I had my record as a kid, I would sometimes have to hit the little button when I put a small record on. Okay, yes. that makes sense. Uh, what this says, it says School Days, the Rock of Fire Explosion featuring Fats. That's one school song. School Days, School Days. And a golden school rule. Days. All right. <laughs> Uh, Who wrote that song? That that was just the beginning of it. It yeah. went into run a dum a dum a dum. Oh, okay. Yeah. It went into that. That's great. The other one is Catch a Wave. Yeah, Catch a Wave and you're sitting on top of the world. <laughs> Brian Wilson, Beach Boys. Yeah. Boom, 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 All right. Boom, boom. I I am putting this to the uh, buy it now click and I'll deal I'll finish this later. So <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking awesome. So uh, so th th that crap is, I mean, not crap, that, that stuff is out there if you want to buy it like I just did. Um, yeah, buy it. Did you ever watch the documentary? Uh, Bert? No. Uh -uh. uh, I'm sorry, Bubba. The documentary about Rock and Fire Express, you've never seen this? I think, uh, uh, when did it come out? Um, I, I guess about 10 years ago. Oh, yeah, I saw You did that. see the other one? Yeah. Where, where Aaron was telling the story about you. Uh, and Sal, I guess, is what yeah, you went by Sal, back. Yeah, Sal, yeah. and he was talking, and he started crying when he was playing your song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's real uh, like that. He he uh, enjoyed working. That's why we're going to start working again. Uh, are you? Are yeah. you really? Yeah, coming up. So, uh, well, we're we're planning to start working around Christmas time this year. So oh wow! So there's going to be more fats. Oh yeah. Oh wow! Very so, cool. Wow. So you're not just recording as Bubba Whip Ass Wilson. You're going to do fat stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's. That, oh, I'm I'm glad I'm. I just bought that. Uh, LP, even though it was ten dollars for fucking shipping. <laughs> 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 they always get you on the shipping. Oh. Hey, what do you think about that, Bushy? I mean, you got to pay for good value, right? Quality, right? Usually, he, <laughs> he, he he's a miser. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I don't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have money to be tight with. But it. you're beautiful. You're